Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching Reads and Talks. I'm Shivani. In this video, I would like to recommend to you 10 books that you must definitely check out before the year ends. And the books that I'm going to tell you are my personal favorite book. And uh, I really love these books. They have a very special place in my heart and have taught me a lot of things. And uh, I hope you get some amazing book recommendation in this video. In case you do, do let me know in the comment section. So without further delay, let's get started. Number one is War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. So this book talks about breaking the resistance and winning your inner creative uh, blocks. So it talks about creative blocks and explains how to deal with them, how to break the resistance in the most subtle manner. And it, it also tells you how to be more creative. And if you are on a creative venture, so definitely you should consider reading this book for sure. Book number two is Know My Name by Shannon Miller. It's a beautifully written memoir and it is a really a very special book for me because I used to be with this book uh, while going to college and used to read it in Metro. It's so much beautifully written. You want to listen to the voice of the author so much and it explains every emotion in the most uh, subtle and most diligent manner I would say and it's definitely one of the books that you will definitely enjoy reading because of its writing and the way it's, it's written the way it's presented to you number three is i came upon a night house by shantanu naidu this book has beautiful illustrations and uh, it's a memoir that covers a life with Ms. Ratan Tata. So Shantanu Naidu was from a middle class family from South and uh, he started an uh, initiative for saving uh, dogs, for stay dogs which led him to meet Mr. Ratan Tata and how did he started knowing him and he explains uh, his feelings and his uh, conversation in the most candid sense and it is really beautifully written and presented to every reader. Book number four is Who Moved My Keys by Spencer Johnson. It's a short book. It's uh, one of the books that you can actually complete in one day. It talks about embracing the change in one's life and um, it tells you how to deal with change and how to be okay in, um, in changing and how to get comfortable with change. And it explains those things in the most beautiful sense through a beautiful story. And you will definitely enjoy reading this book for sure. Book number five is Journal of a Solitude by May Sarton. I feel that this book is a very much underrated book. I've not seen anyone talking about it. It talks about inner world and um, how to uh, cure despair and how to cure creativity block and how to be more knowledgeable about oneself by spending more time alone and how to be uh, able to savor solitary hours. So it explains those things and in the most a poignant sense it's beautifully written you should definitely consider checking this one as well book number six the courage to be disliked by ishiro kishini and firmita kikoka i've talked about that book in uh, one of my videos in detail i've talked about all the life lessons or takeaways i learned from this book this book has uh, changed me for good it has opened my eyes and it's it's a hard-hitting book it's counterintuitive but it gives you a new definition of happiness it uh, makes you responsible for your life and for the things to be in your life in case you want to know more about it i put the card here book number seven is jane Eyre by charlotte bronte again it has a beautiful strong female character called jane Eyre, which is which is an idol because she talks about standing for oneself she listened to um things that is right despite of spite of the fact that millions of things are going wrong but being in the correct zone being being able to think clearly so this book is one of the best books i've read so far and uh, one of the best classics and i think you should definitely check it out book number eight is the almanac of Neville rabbi kant by eric jorgensen so this book actually compiled out of his tweets and presented or categorized in, in a book and it talks about wealth and um, happiness and has talked about focusing on foundational um, knowledge, it talks about creating a leverage um, uh, that you can retire earlier and it can change the way you think. Number 9 is The Kitchen by Banana Yoshi Mato, it's a Japanese uh, literature and cozy comfort read that talks about uh, grief and giving meaning to grief and roughly uh, written. It has uh, three parts that chronicles the author's loss and I'm looking forward to read more of a Banana Yoshimato's work. Last but not least is A Book of Simple Living by Ruskin Bond. 
I really love this book. I kind of go back to this book for the reason that it gives me a different kind of comfort. It can change the way you think and it can make you start embracing uh, simple things in your life. It and makes you observe nature in the most beautiful sense. The skin bond has this uh, tendency to make you observe nature, coming a part of the nature. These were the books that I wanted to recommend in this video. And in case you got any book recommendation or you have any book recommendation, do let me know in the comment section. And I will meet you soon on next Monday. Thank you so much for watching this video.